Welcome to our demonstration of how to use VibeDAC to plot and view vibration data. Over the next few minutes, we'll show video of the VibeDAC application in use with real data being plotted. These are the nine major types of plots in VibeDAC. They are Time Waveform, FFT, Waterfall, Feature Table, Trend, Orbit, Shaft Centerline, Bode, and Polar. Now let's launch the VibeDAC application. Using VibeDAC, you have the ability to open multiple plots simultaneously. The plots may be populated with a combination of live data and previously logged data. To illustrate the plotting functionality of VibeDAC, we will start by opening a time domain plot. This plot shows you the signals you're requiring in real time. By changing settings in the plot configuration window, you can adjust parameters such as the channels displayed, axis scaling, and filtering. Opening an FFT plot allows you to see your vibration data in the frequency domain. By viewing vibration magnitudes as a function of frequency, you can clearly see the most significant contributors to your overall vibration level. This can help you identify what physical components may be causing the vibration in your system. Like all of the plots in VibeDAC, the window size can be easily changed. A waterfall plot shows a series of FFTs. Either increments of time or speed separate the different traces on the plot. Returning to the plot configuration window from here will allow you to adjust settings specific to this plot type, such as x-axis units, averaging, offset, and z-axis units. The available plot configuration options are always dependent on the plot type selected. The feature table allows you to see numeric values for a variety of properties relevant to the overall state of your system. Data for all channels can be displayed at the same time. The individual features shown include speeds, overall magnitudes, gap voltages, amplitudes and phases for specific orders, and bandpass magnitudes. The trend plot shows values taken from the feature table and trended over time. Any numeric values shown in the feature table can be selected and plotted here. Viewing how certain values in your system vary with time can allow you to identify problems before they become serious. Orbit plots show data from a channel pair. Channel pairs are made up of two sensors mounted at the same point along the length of a shaft, but at different angles. By combining their data, you can illustrate the position of a shaft over the course of one or more rotations. Specific travel patterns can be indicative of certain types of problems, such as bearing wear or shaft rub. Also using data from a channel pair, the shaft centerline plot shows the position of the shaft center at various speeds. The plot also shows a bearing clearance boundary. Knowing the path traveled by the shaft with relation to the boundary ensures proper operation. The Bode plot allows you to see the magnitude and phase for a specific channel and order over a variety of speeds. The window contains two stack plots with the same x-axis speed values. The lower plot shows magnitude on the y-axis, while the upper plot shows phase. Identifying which speeds cause increased vibrations and phase changes are critical to understanding the behavior of your system. The polar plot contains the same information as the Bode plot, but instead of displaying the data on two stack plots, the data is instead shown on a single plot using polar coordinates. The magnitude is shown as the distance from the center of the plot, while the phase is shown as the angle from vertical. Thank you for taking the time to watch our demonstration of plotting and viewing in VibeDAC. If you would like more information or a quote, please click on the link below and let us know a little bit about your application. After receiving your request, someone from our staff will be contacting you shortly.